Hey. See this coming. Uh, <laughs> hey, honey. Uh, I'm good. You okay. Yes, baby. I missed you. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. <clears throat> A get together surprise congratulations to the greatest man of this world, my brother from another mother, my ace. My playmate and the uh, <laughs> best man that loves me unconditionally and doing everything possible to make sure that I'm happy and a proud wife. Wow. <laughs> I'm humbled. Yeah. All right. Let's toast to the greatest lawyer in this world. The man who refused to teach me nothing <laughs> but to love. <laughs> oh, you see that? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Woo! Oh, <yeah. laughs> well, there you go. Thank you very much, bro. Okay. I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Let me get you this. There you go. <laughs> well, I didn't see this coming, though. I didn't see this coming. <laughs> it's a surprise. Right. Okay, there we go. Two more success to come, bro. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Um, guys, I'm completely blown away. I least expected to see everyone here. Um, I must say thank you for coming to celebrate with me. Natasha, thank you so much. Natasha is my private prosecutor and investigator. And uh, she's quite brilliant, very smart individual. Uh, thank you for what you do for me. Um, and thank you for coming to celebrate with me. I really do appreciate it. And Basil, you've been my friend. You've been my brother, my partner. Um, you've been such a great guy to me. I must appreciate your friendship. Thank you for your encouragement and uh, thank you for making me a better person. He's a good guy and above all, and my partner in progress. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, bro. You're welcome. I really want to say I appreciate everything. And most importantly, um, this is a very special moment for me. My wife, Lois, Edwards, Mokedi, I love you so much. And uh, I'll keep loving you until I die. She's been my world. She's been my best friend. She's been my backbone. She's everything. A man needs in a woman. Thank you for everything you do for me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for supporting me. And uh, I'm excited to share this moment with you. I love you. Hey guys, it's been two years. I've been working on this case for two years. Can you beat that? <laughs> <laughs> two years, too stressful. <laughs> yes, and now we're here. We're, we're doing this now. We won the case, and so let's celebrate. Mm. Oh, sure. To success. To yes, success. To success. Right. Woo! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Avalon. Thank you. Yes, your your closing argument was masterful. The jury almost gave you a standing ovation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done, man. Thank you very we much. We did it. Let's celebrate. Hey. Go, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, hello, Dad. You called. So, Natasha. Okay, how did I show you? Yes. Hey, babe, who was that? Um, it was Daddy. Everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. He asked so, to see me. So. You're going now? Yeah. You coming back? Of course. Come on, I'll be back soon. You'll be fast about it. I know. Because I miss you. Mm. <laughs> I miss you more. Alright. 
Um, Natasha, Basile, please make yourselves comfortable, okay? Great. Right. Baby I'll will you. help you with that. All right. Thanks, you. Yeah, mm, I'll take care okay, of that. All right. Bye. <sighs> um, Natasha, um, please make yourself comfortable. Okay. Uh, I'll take care of you. Anything you want. Hey, boy. Mm. You're not a stranger, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm not a stranger. I'll be. I'll be right back. Just give me a second, okay? No problem. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Yes. Very affirmative. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I can't help but commend your efforts, bro. You see, the suspect was a drug dealer. He's been involved with insurrection, arson, and murder. So getting 25 years minimum from the law is a just measure. Hmm, you're right. Ah, uh, you see, um, I can say our city will have a little rest from crime stories surrounding him. Obviously. He was a vicious fellow, you mm -hmm. know. Yep. Your phone has been buzzing in the sitting room. I guess the caller is not giving up anytime soon. Oh, thank you. I'll just take it. Hello? Vicentia. Hi, Vin. Been a while. How are you? The truth remains that I never liked that man called Avalon. That is my husband we're talking about here. Oh, yes, I know. I allowed him to marry you because he got you pregnant. Watching you terminate the pregnancy would ruin my reputation and that was why I approved the marriage. <laughs> Dad, Avalon is a hard-working man. He's one of the best lawyers our school has ever produced. He has got prospects. And very soon, I believe his dreams will come to light and we'll all celebrate. Oh, shut your mouth, Lois, and stop being ludicrous. Avalon Woke, the prosecuted and jailed Mark Smith Otumba, one of my richest friends, who has been helpful to me financially and otherwise. Do you know the magnanimity of his action? Do you know? He has ruined the relationship I built over the years. And his submission made the Chief Justice rule against Otumba. Oh, I beg your pardon, Father. You were part of the jury that examined the submission of the prosecution and defense counsel. Why did you bring up such violent evidence that put my friend behind bars? Why? Tell me that. Father, you have always said that there is no best lawyer in a worst case. Let me tell you, Lois, I will definitely deal with Avalon. So you better start now to prepare a divorce suit against him. I love my husband, father, and I will not divorce him. Very well then, suit yourself. Suit yourself, Lois, but I tell you this. The wild wind of my vengeance is coming and it will sweep him and his family off their feet into the ocean. Excuse me? And by this comment you mean? Read my lips. I mean that I will not care that I am your father when I want to deal with Avalon and you will join him. I mean every bit of the words I have spoken. So do not say I did not warn you. Whoa, that was a long call, bro. Who was that? Yeah, an old friend. It's a couple of old friends. They are, you know, organizing a reunion party mm. and they want me in attendance. Mm. Yeah, and the convener is, guess who? Who? Vicentia Okunzuwa. Vicentia. Vicentia, yeah. Vicentia, Vicentia. That name rings a bell. Oh my goodness, Vicentia Okozua. Yeah. Your university girlfriend who vanished into thin air after graduation, right? Oh, same girl that made you go to law school with a broken heart. <laughs> oh, damn. You're not serious. Basil, you see, you have, a, you have a sharp brain. A retentive one at that. 
<laughs> Makes me wonder why you're not a practicing lawyer. Oh, bro? Yeah. Uh, on the more serious note, I was wondering, mm -hmm. why would you want to dine with the devil again? I mean, you didn't hear from the heartbreak till you met Lois, your heart trouble. She's just an old friend, bro. She's just an old friend. Besides, she's married now. Oh, she's married? Yeah. Well, that's cool. <laughs> bro, Vicentia really dealt with you. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> dealt, you said, bro. It's in the past. It's past tense. Look at me. I'm good now. I'm a lawyer. I'm called to bar. I defend people in court. I'm married to the most beautiful woman on earth. Lois Edwards Mukedi. I met her through you. Bro, I'm indebted to you, man. Come on, bro. There's nothing to worry about. It's just a harmless reunion party. And there's no way possible I'll go there without my wife. Good. I'm oh, sorry, let me take this call. Hello? Yeah, hello. We used to be in the same school together. Sorry. I overheard your conversation with Basil. We were not in the same department. She was studying history and international relations. And I was studying... Criminal law. Hmm. A different faculty too. <laughs> A woman as beautiful as Vicentia cannot invite you to a party just for a reunion. What the hell are you talking about? She must have heard about your success story in the news and set up a party, calling it a reunion or whatever. I don't know. I guess you omitted the part where I said I'll be going there with my wife and Vicentia will be coming with her husband. You are a lawyer, and I am a private investigator. I am telling you now to be very careful. Be careful! Yes, be careful. Be careful so you don't end up like me. You all know how I got broke after a damn divorce. I lost my car, my home, my life savings, everything. But still, no one is trying to end up like you. A young man who lives in a mini apartment with a futon. I'm a very careful person, you know. Oh well. Very well then. I'll keep your comfort on the itinerary of no mistake. So babe, you want to see your dad? What was the urgent call about? He sends a shiftload of congratulations and he's acknowledged that you made him more proud when the verdict was announced in your favor by the chief judge. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm humbled. So, mm -hmm. since I did not make anything for my husband, right. I got some food from daddy's place. And guess what? What? They made your favorite fried rice and chicken. Really? Mm-hmm. Guess what? What? You're also my favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Baby. What? <laughs> Please stop, stop. Our son could walk in any minute. No, it's okay. My boy is fine. I'm kissing his mommy. Mm -hmm. okay, why don't you eat before you eat? Hey. I'd rather eat before I eat. <laughs> Come here. Baby, stop. What? I just want to eat. Okay. Come on. Listen, I am grateful to God that I have you in my life. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
And I'm grateful to know that I had you too. Okay, that this is a dining table. So you be careful. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, please. Can you two get a room? What's the meaning of this? Really? Imelda, this is our house. Everywhere is a room in this house. <laughs> Everywhere is a room in my father's house. Are you serious? If I can remember correctly, this house was bought in my father's name. And as a street disciplinarian that he is, my father would like modesty and orderliness in his house, not this. How about you mind your business and call before coming to this house? That's modesty, you know? Can I call you when coming to my father's house? Yes. Who am I going to call a half man like you? Imelda, that is harsh. Can you shut up? I'm not done talking and don't interrupt me. A half man like you? Excuse me, I should call you before I'll come see my sister in my father's house. Okay? Imelda, that was harsh. Oh, really? That was harsh. And you need to shush it right now. Shush what? You need to shush, shush it right now. Come back, I need to Baby. tell you the truth. Imelda, shush I it. This is my husband's house. Excuse me, I am your sister. I need to tell this man the truth. If he hey. is good as he claims, he should come back. Let him be a man. Why are you living on under my father's roof? I don't get it. And you're telling me to shush it? And he said I should call him, call Moked, he call Avalo Moked for what? In my father's house, not even your house. I don't get it. Like, you be... oh my goodness, I need to call my dad. There's no modesty in this house. There's no decency in this house. Nothing at all. What's all this? What's all this? Oh, look at this, eating chicken. Chicken. Really? Huh. Okay. Okay. You're too comfortable. You're too comfortable in my father's house. I know what to do. I am so sorry, please. Please, I'm sorry. I know my sister can be really annoying sometimes. But please, I'm begging you, don't take it to heart. Please. But she's stating the obvious. I mean, I can't afford shelter for my family. How does that make me a man? But baby, it's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Today is your day. So, you don't need anyone to make you feel bad. Don't allow anyone spoil your day for you. Mr. Assistant District Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> baby. Listen, you know you always have a way to cheer me up and inspire me. I love you so much and I'll always make you proud. And I love you too. What? Oh my gosh! What's it? I got the job, baby! I got the job! What job? Baby. <clears throat> I actually booked a catering job with one of the new firms in town and they just sent an email to me. Look. Oh, really? Yes. Well, that's good news. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's good. Oh, wow. I mean, everything is happening so fast. That's good news. So tell me about this job. Oh. I see someone is back. <sighs> so now your appetite is back. Why don't we go downstairs and I tell you why we eat. Okay, anything for you. Let's mm. mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> go. Oh, beautiful. So, about the job, babe, how did you get it? Stop marking territories and please let her be. Let her live her life. What's your problem? Melda, stop. Stop what? I should stop what? Can't you see it? Can't you see what he's doing? When he feels insecure, he will get you pregnant and make you stay at home, restricting you from making your moves. That is what all men do. Honey, is a, it's a luncheon for the people in the art gallery. They saw my food blog and read my bio, that's it. news. 
sis. Really? Yes. Oh, so tell me, will you love to have a test taster? Oh, yes. I would love more than that. And if you want to make more money, you would help me prep and serve. Um, of course, I would like to make money. <laughs> Count me in, sis. <laughs> you see, I'm really, really excited. Oh. I'm so excited that I get to do this my catering job once again after a long time of being a nursing mother. You know, <laughs> I'm happy for you. Babe, I yeah. totally agree with you. You have worked very hard and it is time for you to shine because your hard work is paying off. I... I believe this new job would, you know, bring other opportunities, yeah. Amen. Um, baby, there's one more thing. Mm -hmm. The luncheon is this Saturday and I hope you won't be mad. Are you serious? You hope he won't be mad? Mad for what? Is he a joy killer? Why would he be mad? After so many years of staying at home and now you got a job and you hope he won't be mad. He can get mad for all I care, but you see that job, you're going to get it and you're going to do it. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about all of this. I'm also sorry that I won't be able to make it to your reunion. I would have really loved to see you win the Alumni Year Award. But the client said, if I do this catering job and do it so well, you know, I, I might just end up handling other events for her. That's yeah, okay, babe. Eat your food. Eat your food. Eat. Hmm? Eat. Obviously, Father, he's such a braggadocious person. I wonder what came over you when you allowed him marry my sister. That is part of my problems that I want to correct. Dad, how do you intend to do that? Now that he's working stronger, he's even working with Adesoya, your enemy. I know that everything I did I have done for the sake of my dear daughter. But now that he has joined the Adesoyas to persecute my friend, Max Smith or Tumba, he has joined forces with the enemies to bite the very hand that fed him. And I'm going to deal with him squarely. Daddy Wade Pamper. My sexy wife who's getting pampered. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. So my father actually has his eyes on running for the House of Representative. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh that's great. And guess what? What? He wants my smart, my handsome, my beautiful husband mm -hmm. to be his legal advisor oh really yes and now you know this is huge baby this comes with lots and lots of rewards be it a house a big mansion a car a trip away from here my respectably honorably father would do anything and everything for you and for me your lordship. Lois, kindly you do me a favor. Tell your father I said thanks. But I honestly don't need anything from him. Yeah. 
as a good son-in-law, I'd rather appreciate everything he's done for us than ask for more. Baby. Yeah? Are you trying to say that you do not want a big mansion? Like a beautiful mansion? Lois, listen, I never said that, okay? Of course, I... I love beautiful mansions. I want a new house. But sometimes, a man has got to have his own house. And at this point, I can't keep relying on your father's wealth. All right, I have to make my own money. Besides, Imelda sees me, she thinks I'm a parasite. My own husband. My life. My king. My brilliant, sweet lawyer. A parasite. Baby, you and I know that's not true. Melda is not a problem here. Let me help you. You're stressed. Let me do this for you. Baby. Come on. From far away, far away. I, but I don't know. It's coming from someone close to me. Close to me. In this life, in this life, trust nobody. Trust nobody. So many enemies in disguise. All they want is to pull you down. In this life, trust nobody. So many enemies in these guys All they want is to pull you down They are friendly enemies Yeah I was thinking the enemy is far away Close to 